Hey guys, it's Recons here, and today in this video, I'm going to be bringing you a uh, video on this thing, the Zone 100, a bootleg, well, I'm guessing a Wii knockoff, but uh, I remember owning this thing years ago, uh, my dad just like bought it from a charity shop for like probably a pound, and, and I was just on eBay the other day, and I just saw this on there for like, uh, it was ten pounds, but with, with like a best offer thing, so I offered him a fiver just because, and he ended up taking it, so I was like, oh, okay, so uh, today we're going to be looking at this, and uh, yeah, seeing how shit it really is. But I remember it being semi-fun, I guess. But we'll see. Okay, so opening it up, we got a manual. Nice. Uh, the console. Two controllers, which are obviously Wiimote knockoffs. Uh, some stupid controller peripherals, it looks like. Which are definitely just little hollow things that clip on. So I'm obviously I'm guessing the sports game's in here. The power and the AV cords. Lovely. Let's take out the console first, see how light it is. Oh my god. That is so, so light. So, um, there they've got the back, the AV port, the power. Got, <laughs> this is unbelievably light. Um, you've got some lights in there. You can actually see the board. I'm actually going to open this up in a bit and actually see how much is in here. I'm guessing not very much because it is so light. But uh, you can actually kind of see it there. Um, thing on the top there you've got your reset and your on and off button and that is about your lot so uh there's that and the uh controller so i'm guessing you can play the sports games like this with those stupid peripherals that clip in here with this action uh but there was games where i remember that actually um played like traditional games that's obviously why they're labeled that way and uh yeah, the D-pad, it's okay. It actually does have a central pivot, which is uh, surprising. And the uh, the buttons are extremely clicky. They're very high up as well. But that's not really a bad thing. So, uh, I mean, the controllers obviously are cheap, but they don't seem to be awful. But obviously we'll see how they respond. Got the power supply, which is lovely. And the, uh, the very cheap AV cables, just uh, mono audio. Obviously the yellow and white, no red. And I'm not even going to bother taking out these peripherals because they're obviously just cheap things that plug in there to make it look like a baseball bat. I'm just not going to bother taking them out. Very, um, yeah, there's nothing in there. So I'm going to leave them in there. Something I have just noticed is that there are there's a slot for four AA batteries on the bottom of this thing. So I'm guessing that you can power this with batteries instead of plugging it into the wall, which is interesting. Okay, so before I actually plug this in or anything, I'm actually going to take it apart. Uh, there are six screws on the back, so, uh, well, on, on the other side. So, uh, yeah, let's take it apart. And uh, after taking this apart, and it just has uh, these six screws here, um, you're going to see how empty this thing really is, and it's, it's pretty funny. Look at that. So, this is everything right here. It uses that much space, which is just funny. And then obviously you've got the buttons up there, wide through. And then this is the, the ports. But yeah, that's just hilarious. Uh, they could have made this thing like tiny by just moving the buttons next to the board. But I'm guessing they were trying to make it obviously a, a wee knockoff. So they did this. But yeah, that was pretty funny. I don't know about the chipsets that they use, but obviously they're pretty shite. So uh, yeah, that's all there is inside this thing. Okay, so upon closer inspection, I need AAA batteries for the controller, which is great because I don't have any. Uh, let's see what we've got around here. Um, might have to sacrifice. Okay, now we have batteries in the controller. Let's turn it on and play some games. Okay, so a terrible makeshift setup is complete. Let's turn this on and uh, admire the greatness. <laughs> it's very blurry. Lovely. And there's like a little uh, blue light in there, which is lovely. Right, let's get to playing this thing, I guess. Jazzy music. Okay, we've got the phone set up. So I'm going to only try out a couple of these um, sports games. Uh, this fakes motion controls. So when you actually swing the Wii remote, it's just another way of pressing A. So... It's not even bad motion controls, it's just fake motion controls. So, uh, which one should we try out? Let's do 
tennis. Are you ready for this? Yes, we'll face you on this course. Okay, so right now, so with this, if you basically just keep shaking the Wii Remote, uh, Wii Remote, fucking hell, if you just keep swinging this thing, I mean, I don't know, do I, or should I just press a button instead? I, I don't know what's going on here. Is it not picking it up, the signal? There we go. Okay, now I'm just shaking it in front of the console. And it seems to be working now. <laughs> oh my god, I'm literally just non-stop shaking it in front of the console. This is, this is pretty funny. Wow, I'm winning! <laughs> I wish I had a camera on my hand. I'm literally just right in front of the console, sway shaking the Wii Remote in front of it. Oh my god. Cool. Right, cool. Well, that's enough of that. I'm bored of that now. <laughs> Can I menu app, please? Oh, I don't know the controls. Uh, right. right. A button's at the top. No, I want to go. I want to quit. Menu. There we go. Let's try bowling. Okay, what do I do? Okay. Right, this is all we we bowling stuff. Uh, how do I swing? Okay. Oh. And then I press A or shake it. And it does this. Boom! I got six. Cool. You need to be bowling when you've got the zone 100. Let's do this again. Oh. Uh. What a ball, what a ball. I, I'm just a king. I am a king. Oh shit. Eh. Beautiful slow roll. Oh, that's actually quite disappointing. <laughs> what is going on? Oh god, I feel sorry for the kids that actually like received this instead of a Wii. That'd be quite sad. Um, big roll up. And it's another spare. Just Ammer King at the bowling. Oh, it's a powerful one. And it's a bloody strike to finish it off. It is incredible scenes. And we get an amazing audience cheer. So uh, that's enough of that. Okay. I think that's enough of the sports games. We've seen enough of that. Fake motion controls. Pretty simple. Let's go on to the mini games. And there's a few that I recognise here. From well, back in the day of what I actually played. And then also reviews of other of these cheat knockoffs. There's like a bunch of different games from loads of other consoles on this thing. So I don't know who actually makes the games. But they seem to be like all connected. It's really weird. So uh, let's try auto racing first thing. Why not? Yeah, so on Classic Game Room, which is a review show that I used to watch, there was a plug and play called the Moto C, and this game was on it. So we got this guy, and we pass a bunch of Mario's on the way. So look, that's that's Mario right there. We we pass a bunch of them on this very generic course. So there's another Mario. I'm not actually controlling this right now. I'm just holding A, and it's doing this turning for me. Oh God. Another Mario taking over. Nice. Okay. Well, that's boring. Menu, please. Menu. Lovely. Let's um, try out Deep Storm. This is a one from another classic game room review of a handheld called the VG Pocket Caplet. And this game was on it. Deep Storm. Which is this like weird spaceship shooter thing from a really weird perspective. And I'm already dead. I don't know what hit me, but all right. This game actually looks like semi-fun though, if I actually knew what was hitting me. Wow, 
Watch out for those fucking flying footballs. Run. Ha ha. Shoot the, shoot the church bell down. Die, church bell. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I'm actually lasting quite a while here. Have I just spoken too soon? Probably. Ah, don't kill me. All right, the church bell's gone. Oh, my God. What is that? Ah, it's a fucking skull. Shoot him down. Kill him. Kill him. Okay, this is actually all right. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, kill him. Oh, dear. So there is actually some fun to be had on this console. This is actually quite enjoyable. Kill the skull. I'm dead. Okay, well, that was actually all right. <laughs> um, so the controller actually isn't even that bad. Uh, it doesn't even respond. Obviously, there's a bit of input lag, but nowhere near as much as I originally thought, which is cool. Dragon. <laughs> Let's just see what dragon is. Oh, my God. Jesus. What the fuck? Look at this. This is like a Adobe Flash game. Which is probably a compliment though for this console. So I've got like this weird dragon power up thing. Okay. This is... Oh, I can actually walk on it. It's like a platform. Oh, cool. I'm dead. Okay, that, that seemed fun. What else we got here? Finger dancing. I don't even want it, actually. <laughs> what the fuck is finger dancing? Oh. Is this just to press the D-pad? Yeah, okay. That's shite. That's just pressing things on the D-pad. And with a non-responsive controller, that's not a lot of fun. Firefighter. If this is what I think it is. This is a an Arkanoid clone or Breakout. If this is what I think it is. It is not what I think it is. Okay. This is something completely different. Oh, it is! But it's just a different level. Okay, so yeah. I'm, I'm firefighters. And I'm saving people. On a trampoline thing. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Okay, I can't actually hit him this way. Come on. Oh my god. Here we go. Save him. Oh, collect the fire. Oh, I, I, I killed my guy. Such a shame. Right, okay, that's boring. Horizontally using both hands. No. Go-karts. I think this is like a versus racing clone. Where it's like a top-down. Yeah, that's right. Okay, bring it on. I'm racing myself. Great. Okay, this is very slow, but... Oh, good start, good start. God, that tire squeaking is horrible. Oh, what a turn that was. Oh! Call me Lewis Hamilton. Oh, professional. I am a professional. This controller actually isn't even that bad. I'm not. I'm gonna come clean. The input lag's not even that bad. Champion. Cool. And you get a very interesting looking summary. Nice. Now there's another game. Which is actually a spaceship shooter as well. well. Not spaceship, but a shooter as well. From the VG Pocket Caplet, which uh, is called Lightning Plan. Which actually looks like a decent game. Actually, this is one of the ones I do remember from back in the day. You're in a plane and you shoot shit. Which is how most shooters go. But it got too difficult way too quickly. So like, there was this one big plane, which you'll see in a second, which is just just doesn't go down and it kind of ruins it because this like opening bit actually seems promising like oh we're actually gonna get a decent game here but then it just gets too difficult too quickly which you'll see in a minute this thing it just doesn't go down forever and it's aids 
I mean, watch me take it down now, but it's just not fun. I'm gonna, oh, I'm dead. I want to take that thing at the bottom down because it's doing my head in. Oh my god, don't kill me, please. I, oh my god, it just doesn't go down. Okay, I destroyed it with a bomb. Cool. I forgot I had bombs, actually. Oh, why is that PowerPoint? PowerPoint? My god. Why is that power up getting away from me? There we go. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this action. So, this is actually an alright game. I'm not even gonna lie. It's not good, but it's not bad. Die. Right, we're at a desert now. Bring it on. Okay, this is a tank, and I think this is where it gets aid. I should use a couple of bombs. Okay, we took it down. And once again, the power ups are escaping me. Yeah. Okay, we're actually going quite far into this game. It's like a full out review of a game called Lightning Plan. <laughs> a very unoriginal name. Oh, it's a stealth bomber! Oh, here we go. Bring it on. I missed with the bomb. I oh, know I didn't. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm dead. You know what? That's actually alright. I've got a life. Get in. Bomb. Bomb. And another bomb. No way out. It outlasted three bombs. Are you mad? Oh, come on, man. Oh, my God. It outlasted four, three or four bombs. Right, okay. That was that game. Which uh, was alright, actually. Enjoyed that one. Okay, I'm actually going to um, cut because uh, my phone is about to die and I don't want to lose this footage. <laughs> Okay, let's try out the Lost World. I recognise the name. As well as Tiger Rescue, we'll, we'll do that one as well. Oh, come on. Oh, is this like Metal Slug or some shit? No, I was way off. What's this? Frogger, maybe? Is this like a... Yeah, I think this is like a Frogger clone. A very weird looking one. And there's no sound, which is just scary. Okay. Uh, uh, oh god. Fucking go. Why is there no sound? Oh, I found the water. That's not good. Let's get one thing going and then we'll move on. What the fuck? I've been robbed. I've been robbed. My man over here. Okay, he's not getting robbed this time. What a lad. Oh god, there's a big boulder. Okay. Oh, okay, cool, whatever. <laughs> right, let's try another one. Let's try that tiger rescue thing, which was the next one. Oh, tiger, this is also on the uh, Moto C thing. Yeah. Let's go to the stealth bomber. Oh, look at this. Oh, another spit. I love these games. Okay, I've just realised something. I can't move up or down. Only side to side. Okay, my negative points on that part. Oh, I can move. Okay, never mind. Oh, God, I'm so slow and these things are coming everywhere. Shoot, shoot him. I, I've also realised that uh, Lightning Plan Deep Storm and this Tiger Rescue all have the same sound effects. They all have the same shooting sound. Which is fun. And also the same power up and bomb look, like yeah, designs. But that can't really be too surprising. Okay, I don't want to keep playing this forever because, yeah. Right, let's uh, menu it. If I can menu, come on. We're going to try and get three games quicker now. Jet skiing. Uh, Jet Rush 2, I also recognise the name of. Let's play Jet Rush 2. Yeah, this is also on the Moto C. Okay, so all these are 
all these weird little plug and plays just are connected in in these weird games. So I don't know what the company is actually makes the games and then licenses it. Doesn't even license them probably. Just gives them to these crappy little console manufacturers. Fucking meow, dickhead. This is like a Google Images game. Remember that Google Canoe that everyone played in school? Ah! Oh dear! Whoa! Whoa! Fucking hell! I'm amazing! At the jet ski! Oh! Stones! Whee! Alright, is this. Can this end now? Whoa! Okay, right, that's enough of that. Come on, menu. There we go. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention as well earlier on that it's actually not two AAA for the controller. It's actually three. There was a third slot like up like, above the right hand one, and I was wondering like why it wasn't working when I put two in, and then when I opened it back up, I realised it was a third slot. So that's fun. Uh, let's have a look here. <coughs> jump frog, bump jump, go bang, go bang yourself. Right, let's try that. This is a puzzle game. Go bang. I'm trying to press buttons. Okay. What the shit? Um, what? Uh, okay, go bang yourself. Let's not, let's not play that. Interesting. Zippy. Frog defense. Let's try defense mission. Oh. Fucking hell, have that. This is like Battle City. Is it Battle City where you gotta protect that the thing in the center? So I'm here just shooting the fuck out of people. Bang. And they, they explode after they get hit by my gun, which is a madness. Oh! I'm dead too. And did some weird twiddly shit. Dead. Okay, this is pretty interesting. <laughs> Bang. Right, that's enough of that. So, I mean, it is actually fun to be had on this console for the amount it's worth. But, uh, I wouldn't really go... I, I wouldn't really go out of your way to get it. But, it's not as bad as you may think. Okay, so there it is. 89 uh, mini games, 11 sport games. Let's play one more, randomly. Uh, and then I'll end the video there. Hmm. Sudoku. Just Sudoku. That's, that's just all it is, yeah. Did we play that final escape thing? I don't know. Let's try bump jump. Arkanoid, okay. Or well, breakout. No, this is more Arkanoid than breakout. Okay, well that's an interesting way to leave it. That's uh, breakout. Alright. Cool. Well, uh, yeah, let's um, unplug it and end the video. Coolio. Okay, guys, with that being said, that is going to conclude my little video on the Zone 100. Uh, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and stay tuned for the next video, which will be me uh, sending off my PS4 over there, hoping to get the HDMI port replaced. Um, so I'll basically be recording before I send it off as I send it off and when I get it back so that'll be like a three-part kind of video in one sort of thing so I'm not sure how long that's going to be it'll probably be a few weeks yet but stay tuned for it I'm hoping for the best but we'll see uh, but yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one and yeah see you later and you know what I am actually going to display the Zone 100 with the rest of the consoles I'm actually going to put it if I can Let's put it there. Lovely. That is just outstanding. Right. Cool.